Good morning. It is a beautiful day out there in Northeast Iowa. Bright, sunny. We got about an inch or more of rain yesterday, which was greatly appreciated. It's going to be in the low 50s, high 40s today. Good day to get outside and enjoy yourselves. I want to remind you that you continue to be in prayer for Pat Bowden, who is still in hospital recovering from surgery, and also to keep Josh Chapel in your prayers as he's seeking a new kidney transplant. Do hold them all up before the Lord for healing. Worship services this coming Sunday, 8.30 at St. Paul's, 10.30 at First, Sunday school at 9.30 at both congregations. Both services will have Holy Communion and will be live streamed on the parish Facebook page, First and St. Paul Lutheran Churches. I hope you enjoy them. Just a couple of things for the day. First of all, um, just a personal note, I guess. Uh, folks often ask me, do I take a day off? And yes, I usually do. I try to take Fridays off. Friday has always worked the best for me. Uh, I find that um, I need Monday to kind of get myself organized for the week. And so by Friday, I think if I've got my sermon pretty well in shape, then I'm good to take the day off so I can just enjoy the day. That doesn't mean that I don't work on Fridays. Um, one of the things you understand as a pastor in a small town is that as long as you're in town, you're on the job. So that's pretty normal. I want to share with you um, part of a devotion from Luther's works. Uh, this is taken from John chapter 1, verse 29. The next day, John the Baptist saw Jesus coming toward him and declared, Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. These are your words, Heavenly Father. Sanctify us in truth. Your word is truth. Amen. The Lamb, the Lamb of God. The Lamb has particular significance in the history of the people of Israel. The Lamb's blood was spread on the doorposts and the lintels of the house of the Israelites in bondage in Egypt just before they were delivered by, by the Lord, by the hand of Moses, out into freedom. The Lamb's blood on the doorposts was a sign that when the angel of death came through the land of Egypt, it would see the Lamb's blood and pass over the house. And so the Israelites has celebrated Passover every year since then, a reminder of God's deliverance from bondage. And that has been an ongoing symbol throughout the ages. And so when Jesus came... John the Baptist, who was a faithful Jew, saw in him a new lamb, a more magnificent lamb, the lamb of God, whose blood and death would indeed take away the sin of the world. We regard Jesus as the one who bears in himself all things, and especially during this season of Lent, we are reminded of his willing sacrifice on the cross so that you and I could be forgiven our sins. And so we praise the Lamb of God. We sing that on communion liturgies as we're preparing to receive the Holy Sacrament. We sing, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. And that's what Jesus does. The Lamb of God is a reminder that in the bread and the wine of Holy Communion is the body and blood of Jesus, is his shed blood and his broken body, which provides us with the salvation that God has promised, so that the angel of death comes to us, it sees us, and it passes over us, so we do not die eternally. Yes, we fall asleep in the Lord, as the Orthodox brothers and sisters say, but it is a temporary sleep, and we regard our graves little more than a bed in which we sleep until the Lord himself arrives. And also one of the very prominent images of Jesus in the New Testament is that of the Good Shepherd. He is not only the Lamb of God whose dying and rising saves the world, but he is the Good Shepherd who by his love and grace calls us all out of sin and death. We are joined to his flock by holy baptism and we live as he guides us along the still waters to the verdant pastures of the Lord, feeds us with the Holy Supper, so that we maintain and grow in faith. Let us give thanks to God for his so willing a sacrifice that John's proclamation of Jesus is indeed true, that our Lord Jesus is the Lamb of God who has taken away the sin of the world. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks that you gave your Son to be the Lamb of God 
to be our Passover, to be the one who would confront sin and death and in his dying and rising has won for us the victory over them all and assures us of salvation. Help us to be his faithful flock, following him, the good shepherd, who was our lamb, leading us into the world that we might give faithful witness to him and live our lives as fully in him as we can. We thank you for the gift of a beautiful day. We pray that in it we might serve you and be a blessing to our neighbor. We ask all these things in your name. Amen. Well, I look forward to seeing you all again tomorrow. I hope you really enjoy the rest of the day. And until then, goodbye now.